Bishop Peter Jugis of the Diocese of Charlotte and Bishop Michael Burbage of the Diocese of Raleigh are working together to educate voters for the North Carolina Marriage Amendment. On May 8th, both bishops urge every North Carolinian to vote for marriage. In a few months, voters in North Carolina will have the opportunity to promote traditional marriage in our state via an amendment to the state constitution. You may have heard some recent discussion about this and may be wondering what the Catholic Church teaches about marriage and why it does so. In this presentation, I will outline a couple of essential reasons for our principled position in support of traditional marriage. The Church teaches that marriage, whether celebrated in a religious or a civil ceremony, is a faithful, exclusive, and lifelong union between one man and one woman, joined as husband and wife, in an intimate partnership of life and love. Marriage exists for two reasons, the mutual love and support of the spouses, and the procreation and education of children. These two purposes, uniting couples and bringing new life into the world through birth, are equal and inseparable. The institution of marriage has a very important relationship to the continuation of the human race to the total development of the human person, and to the dignity, stability, peace, and prosperity of the family and of society. The natural institution of marriage between two Christians has been blessed and elevated by Christ to the dignity of a sacrament. This means that Christian marriage is more than a contract between two persons because Christ bonds himself permanently to the couple in sacramental marriage, we believe it is a covenant, an irrevocable bond, a permanent commitment by Christ to love and help this couple throughout their lives as a couple. Because they are married in the Lord, the spouses acquire a special relationship to each other and to society. Their love becomes a living image of the manner in which the Lord personally loves his people and is united with them. Living a Christian sacramental marriage becomes a fundamental way to grow in holiness. Because marriage offers unique benefits to persons, to society, and to the church, I want to make it clear that the institution of marriage as the union of one man and one woman must be preserved and protected. Same-sex unions are unable to realize the unique and full potential that a traditional marriage relationship expresses. For all the reasons I have voiced, traditional marriage is the only legitimate expression of marriage the church can support in society. The church's position on traditional marriage is not an instance of discrimination or animosity toward homosexual persons. Marriage is based on natural law, a law that can never be changed. Therefore, there will be boundaries that cannot be modified. At the same time, in light of our belief in the inherent dignity of every person without exception, individuals and society must respect those with a homosexual orientation. Respect compassion and understanding are the only legitimate actions we can take as Christian people. Prejudice, attacks, and all forms of abuse are never acceptable. I urge Catholics and all North Carolinians to commit themselves both to upholding the human dignity of every person and to upholding the distinct and irreplaceable status of traditional marriage. Thank you and may God bless you.